Good morning. James and John want top slots in the new government under Jesus, but the top slots are for service. Look with me today at Mark chapter 10, verse 35 to 45. Let's read. By now I hope we know that Jesus' kingdom is upside down. Upside down to us, because we have a fallen nature. And when mankind fell, everything was inverted. Our relation to God was turned around, uh, and our relation to each other was also inverted. Everything was turned inside out and upside down, pretty much. And so, with that perspective, what is it that uh, James and John want to do? They want the top slot, slot one and two, in, in Jesus' government. And they uh, just come boldly to Jesus and ask for it. They are the sons of thunder, you know. But what's interesting here is that uh, Jesus points out something very important, something that we perhaps often miss as well. Real leadership is service, and it is service to others that is the greatest indication, the greatest uh, thing that we must have. Jesus warns them that we are at our most human when we're serving others. The unconverted person who rules over others exercises authority over them. He, he pushes them down. He puts his will above their will and demands that they follow his will. It's exactly the opposite with Jesus. God shows us what his will is, but God's plan, through Jesus, he restores our will. He gives us back free will. And so then we would obey him, but voluntarily, not by compulsion. So those are two very different approaches there. The unconverted person rules over others and and asserts his will over them for his aggrandizement. It's a glory to him when you do what he tells you to do. The Christian outlook is very different, altogether different, in fact. And so we are so immersed, it's, our world has become so uh, saturated with the secular and the political that I think even Christians could easily begin to lose our way. We need to be uh, people who are, are driven by this, by the book, and that will help us to be on the right path on this question. You know, Jesus says it will not be so among us. And so we are of a different kingdom, a different civilization. God's kingdom is above and beyond any of these other things. So it should be different in the church. If it's not different, the secular has leaked into your church. So it's a good time to find the plug and pull it so that can drain out of there. Jesus is quite secure. He doesn't need uh, us to, he doesn't need to lord it over us, but he is lord. And I'm glad and I want to do what he tells me. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for uh, a di kingdom that's totally different, totally different, different than anything we've ever been engaged in or involved in, different than anything we've ever seen that's human. Your kingdom is altogether different. So Lord, bless us Help us so that we are not seeking to lord it over others. Help us to have, be secure that our identity is in Jesus, not in ourself or in any merit badges we might have or any, any uh, glories we might secure to ourselves. Help us to trust in you and find your pathway. Help us so that it's not so among us, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So it's exactly backwards from what you and I might naturally think, because our natural thinking is unnatural thinking. God help us to, to get this right. So what's an action step today? Well, be, be engaged, be involved in your local church, and ask around. Find out what you can do to do something to serve others for the good of the kingdom of Jesus. Have a great day.